This week, we are reading a story called Two of Everything. This week, we'll talk about understanding characters. It's important to think about how characters act when something important happens to them. We think about what they say, do, and think, and these details give text evidence to help you understand more about them. This week, the story is what we call a traditional story. A traditional story had been told for many years. Long ago, stories were told aloud and then retold. Now, most stories are written down. People everywhere can read them. Traditional stories often are told to teach a lesson. In two of everything, the characters learn an important lesson. So a traditional story, many years were told from one generation to the next. So grandparents would tell their parents, parents would tell their children, their children would then tell their children. So because the stories were not written down, oftentimes they changed from one person telling the story to the next person. Maybe they added some different details or they didn't um, include some details that they had heard. And little by little, the stories changed uh, over the years. Okay, now, most stories are written down because we can easily write them on paper or type them on a computer. But many years ago, this was not the case. Lily Toy Hong is the author and illustrator. <clears throat> she enjoys camping, getting together with her large family, and eating Chinese food. She also loves learning about her parents' native country, China, and its many legends and folktales. One day, I would love to visit China and explore the land of <clears throat> my forefather, she says, and maybe discover more folktales. So a folktale is a story that is often told by people of a country. So we're going to be looking for a simple plot that teaches a lesson and events that could not happen in real life. So a traditional tale or a folk tale are the same thing. Two of Everything by Lily Toy Hong. <clears throat> Once long ago in a humble little hut lived Mr. Hacktack and his wife, Mrs. Hacktack. They were old and very poor. What little they ate came from their tiny garden. In a lucky year when the harvest was plentiful, Mr. Hacktack had a little extra to take to the village. There he traded turnips, potatoes, and other vegetables for clothing, lamp oil, and fresh seeds. So where do they live, Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack? So they live in a very simple hut. <clears throat> And what they do is grow their own food. So they don't go to the grocery store to buy their food. They grow their own food. So they are very hard workers. <clears throat> One spring morning when Mr. Hacktack was digging in his garden, his shovel struck something hard. Puzzled, he dug deeper into the dark ground until he came upon an ancient pot made of brass. How odd, said Mr. Hacktack to himself, to think that I have been digging here all these years and never came upon this pot before. I will take it home. Maybe Mrs. Hacktack can find some use for it. So what does he find in his garden? An old pot that he has no idea where it came from. <clears throat> He's always digging in his garden, so the fact that he's never found it before is very puzzling to him. The pot was big and heavy for old Mr. Hacktack. As he stumbled along, his purse, which contained his last gold, five gold coins, fell to the ground. He tossed it into the pot for safekeeping and staggered home. His wife greeted, greeted him at the door. Dear husband, what a strange pot, Mr. Hacktack explained how he found the pot. I wonder what we could do with it. It looks too large to cook in and too small to bathe in. So I know I will understand the story better if I stop occasionally to summarize what I've read. So if we think back, Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack, we met them, they're living, they live in a small hut. 
they work very hard in their garden. They grow their own food. They found, as they were digging one day, they found an old pot and they had no idea where it came from. It was too small to bathe in. It was too large to cook in. So what could they do? They set it aside and Mr. Hacktack took a few old coins and threw them in the pot. Think about what could happen next. As Mrs. Hacktack leaned over to peer into the pot, her hairpin, the only one she owned, fell in. She felt around in the pot and suddenly her eyes grew round with surprise. Look, she shouted, I've pulled out two hairpins, exactly alike, and two purses too. Remember Mr. Hacktack threw his purse with gold coins in the day before? Sure enough, the purses were identical. That means they looked exactly the same. And so were the hairpins, identical. Inside each purse were five gold coins. Do you see what's happening? He threw a purse in the day before and out he pulled two. She lost a hairpin and out came two. What is this pot doing to all of the items that go into it? Mr. Hacktack was so excited, he jumped up and down. Let's put my winter coat inside the pot. If we are lucky again, the pot will make two coats and then we will both stay warm. So into the pot went one coat and out came two coats. They began to search the house and quickly put more things into the magical pot. If only we had some meat, wished Mr. Hacktack or fresh fruit, or one delicious sweet cake. If you put any of those things into the pot, what will happen to them? They will get two. Do you see why this story is called Two of Everything? <clears throat> Mrs. Hacktack smiled. I know how we can get anything we want, she said. She put their 10 coins, Sorry, move this over. into one purse, then threw it into the pot. She pulled out two purses with 10 coins each. What a clever wife I have, cried Mr. Hacktack. Each time we do this, we will have twice as much money as before. The Hacktacks worked late into the night, filling and emptying the pot until the floor was covered with coins. So why is the floor covered with coins? Because they keep putting, Excuse me, sir, because they keep putting coins in and every time they put coins in, it doubles. So if they put one coin in, they will get two. If they put 10 coins in, how many will they get? 20. That's right. So the more coins they have, every time they put that many in, it will double. That's multiplication, by the way. <clears throat> Morning came and off went Mr. Hacktack with a long list of things to buy in the village. Instead of vegetables, his basket was full of gold coins. So now he doesn't have to trade his vegetables. Now he has money to buy things, which means he can buy anything he wants. Mrs. Hacktack finished all of her chores and sat down to enjoy a cup of tea. She sipped her tea and admired the brass pot. Then with a grateful heart, she knelt and embraced it. Dear Pot, I do not know where you came from, but you are my best friend. She stooped over the pot to look inside. Uh-oh, remember this is a very large pot. Do you know what's going to happen? <clears throat> Let's see. At that very moment, Mr. Hacktack returned. His arms were so full of packages that he had to kick the door open. Bang! Mrs. Hacktack was so startled that she lost her balance and fell headfirst into the pot. Mr. Hacktack ran over and grabbed his wife's legs. He pulled and tugged until she slid out onto the floor. But when he looked at the pot again, he gasped. 
two more legs were sticking straight out of it. Naturally, he took hold of the ankles and pulled. Out came a second person. She looked exactly like his wife. So now there are not one Mrs. Hacktack, there are two. The new Mrs. Hacktack sat silently on the floor looking lost. But the first Mrs. Hacktack cried, I am your one and only wife. Put that woman back into the pot right now. Mr. Hacktack yelled, no, if I put her back, we will not have two women, but three. One wife is enough for me. He backed away from his angry wife and tripped and fell head, pot, head first in the pot himself. Oh no, what's going to happen now? That's right, there will be another Mr. Hacktack. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what happens next. Both Mrs. Hacktacks rushed to rescue him. Each grasped an ankle and together they pulled him out. There were two more legs in the pot, so they pulled out the other Mr. Hacktack too. And now there are four Mr. and Mrs. Hacktacks. Just what use does one Mr. Hacktack have for another Mr. Hacktack, Greg cried angrily. This pot is not as wonderful as we thought it to be. Now even our troubles are beginning to double. But his wife had been thinking while he was yelling. Do you see an adverb on that page, on page 499? Look carefully and see if you ha see an adverb. Remember, an adverb is a word that describes a noun. Take a moment. <clears throat> There it is, angrily. Remember often, here's the word angrily. Angrily describes how Mr. Hacktack cried. That is an adverb. So Mr. Hacktack is very angry and he's, he's just yelling and he's saying, this pot is not as wonderful as we thought it'd be. Oh no, this is terrible. And it says his wife started thinking while he was yelling. So what is she thinking about, do you think? She's trying to come up with a solution to his problem. You got it. Calm down, she said. It is good that the other Mrs. Hacktack has her own Mr. Hacktack. Perhaps we will become best of friends. After all, we are so alike. He will be a, he will be a brother to you and she a sister to me. With our pot, we can make two of everything so there will be plenty to go around. And that is what they did. The Hacktacks built two new homes, two fine new homes. Each house had identical teapots, rice bowls, silk embroideries, and bamboo furniture. From the outside, the houses looked exactly alike. But there was one difference. Hidden in one house was a big brass pot. Of course, the Hacktacks were always careful never to fall into it again. So Mr. Hacktack thinks that Mrs. Hacktack is very clever. Do you agree? Remember what clever means? She's very smart and she can figure out lots of things. Do you think she's clever still? I think so because she came up with a solution to their problem. Mr. Hacktack was very upset about having two of, two of him, not two of everything. He was very happy about having lots of money and everything that was doubling, but he didn't want two wives and he didn't want two of him. But she came up with a perfect solution. The new Hacktacks and the old Hacktacks did become good friends. The neighbors thought that the Hacktacks had grown so rich that they decided to have two of everything, even themselves. So in the end, they were very upset at first when they had two of each other, but in the end, they made it work out. And so they learned a lesson. What was the lesson that they learned?
Well, one lesson I guess you could say would be that, first of all, um, when they kept putting all of the things into the pot, they thought it was such a great thing, but then they started to maybe get a little greedy, would you say? And then because they were so excited about everything they were putting into the pot, they ended up falling in themselves. But in eventually they both decided that they could make the best of a tricky situation. And they came up with a solution for their, for their problem by working together and figuring out how to make it work. And they ended up becoming the best of friends. And that is the story, too, of everything. <laughs>